They rescued her in 1998 from Texas. She was fed only dog food as a cub. A lot of times breeders are just trying to sell the animal, so they're gonna tell these people that wanna purchase them whatever it is to sell that animal. What does that animal do in the wild? They catch a whole prey item, they ingest the entire thing, like the intestines, like that contains the B vitamins that they need, protein, all these vitamins, nutrition they need. Ingesting, this might be a bit too much, but it, even ingesting the tongue has taurine, which is a really essential amino acid for exotic cats. So uh, Mary was talking about the metabolic donut disease. She had that. Um, she was maybe a third of the size of a normal tiger. Her name was Sierra. Because she was fed dog food, she didn't develop properly. She didn't have proper nutrition when she was little. She couldn't digest bones or anything, so we had to have her on a special diet. She would get constipated very easily, so we you know, would have to give her medication to help just loosen that up so she could be comfortable. Um, so she was one that we watched really closely. Getting to see her out on the habitat for the first time was just adorable. She loved it. She would, she was slightly deformed, unfortunately, from from her previous issues. She would kind of gallop off money, but she would just throw herself on the grass and roll around, and she just she loved life. That her story is a legacy for people. You know, it's just I I don't think that people initially got this animal and thought I'm going to maim it for the rest of its life. Unfortunately, through ignorance, that's exactly what happened. So. She had, you know, a life of a lot of medical attention because people fed her dog food. I'm sure the breeder that she was purchased from said, don't feed her raw meat and she'll be a nice sweet tiger for you. We hear that kind of nonsense all the time. She was declawed too, so again, people trying to do things to make them safer to handle, but you're just, you're doing some detriment to the animal.